I think the definition of greatness is to inspire the people next to you. Yeah, I, I think that's what greatness is or should be. It's, it's not something that's, that, that lives and dies with one person. It's how can you inspire a person to then in turn inspire another person, that then inspires another person. And that's how you create something that I think lasts forever. And uh, I think that's our challenge as people, is to, um, is to figure out how our story can impact others and motivate them in a way to create their own greatness. There's a quote from uh, one of my English teachers at Lower Marion named uh, uh, Mr. Fisk. He had a great quote that said, rest at the end, not in the middle. And that's something you I always study the by. lives of all the greats. One thing you'll find in common that they all had was a dream. See, they all had a vision for how they wanted their life to look. And every day they got up and aligned their actions with that dream, with that vision, until what was only a thought, a vision in their mind became their reality. The whole world is just one big blank white canvas. And you are the artist. Your thoughts are the colors. Your action, your grind is the paintbrush. Now get up every single day and paint the life that you want to experience, the life that you want to live. Now you heard me on the last message talking about getting clear on what you want in life. Now for me, I'm filtering every decision I make this year through three things. That is fire, truth, and music. Now what I mean by this, fire. Okay, fire is passion. It's what makes me feel the most alive in life. Now hear me out. People with small dreams are lukewarm people. They're not very excited about life. So I'm going to dream big. Everything I do, I'm pushing the envelope. I'm allowing and inviting God into my situation. Because some of you see, when you got small dreams, you boxing God out. Faith is an invitation for God to come invade your life. So I'm going to dream big where I've got to put myself in a position of faith. Stop dreaming dreams that are equal to your own ability and start dreaming dreams that are equivalent to the God that you serve. The day you start believing is the day you start living. Faith is the match that will set you on fire. Now when I say fire, I'm talking about I'm on fire in everything. I want relationships that are deeply connected that make me feel alive. I want to do work every single day that I'm excited about. Excited to open my eyes in the morning and hate to close them at night because I'm scared I might miss out on something. I'm very keen to my inner energy. And if what I'm about to do doesn't excite me on the inside, I don't do it. Now let me clear that up. Some things in life, the process of building a dream is not going to be fun, right? If I want a championship body, I'm going to have to work that body out. And some of that ain't going to be fun. But see, what I'm working towards, that champion body excites me. If you want to be successful in life, you have to set yourself on fire. If you set yourself on fire, the world will come see you burn. If you're working a job right now that does not set you on fire, your number one objective in life should be to get out of that job and move toward the things that make you feel alive on the inside. That's it. Success chases those on fire. The second thing I'm filtering everything through this year is truth. First, God's truth, his word, his time-tested word, laws and principles that govern success. Anything I'm doing, I'm seeking the word first before I do it. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. I seek the word first and then I seek the word that's on the inside of me. I live through authenticity. Anything not rooted in truth is temporary. There is no long-term success outside of one's truth. To step fully into greatness, one must become self-aware of the maker who made him and the person that he made him to be. And when you live from that space, from that thinking, from that mental arena, you become blessed and unstoppable. Only, only when you are in truth can you fully be bold and pursue your dreams.